33, Casey Lund is live on Hawaii Island this morning. The first one to volunteer to go out there to cover the Kilauea eruption. How's it going, Casey? <laughs> they picked the, they picked the mo most local guy to send over to Hawaii Island. Uh, <laughs> they just knew I was free. I'm always grateful to be over here, though. And yeah, I volunteered. I always do. I'm, I'm so happy to be here and to share this with our viewers. Uh, I want to get, because we're I know short on time, to David Phillips. He's the deputy scientist in charge for Hawaii Volcanoes, or Hawaiian Volcanoes Observatory, USGS. Uh, David, I want to get right down to the lava. Yeah. And I want to talk about that, uh, that lava, that fountain that is coming out of the crater wall there. Yeah. Um, you know, when I've been kind of trying to describe what's happening, I say, you, you've got to imagine that just shows how much pressure was built up. Is that kind of what's going on? That's, that's partly the pressure that led up to the eruption that we saw. <clears throat> and it also shows how the magma moves underneath the ground. It moves. It's not just a, a bunch of magma moving wherever it wants. The pressure kind of directs the magma through the fractures and the faults in the ground. And what we're seeing is the edge of what we call a dike. So if you can imagine something about the shape of this device, it's kind of skinny like this along the edge, but it comes up from underneath and it's coming out in the surface and erupting and causing that fissure. And that's what we're seeing. We're seeing a profile of that coming out of the cliff. Yeah. And then if we can get back down there too, I want to talk a little bit about the fountains that are still super active that, you know, we've kind of been guessing and from your information yesterday, Today in the 15, 20, 30 foot range, maybe a little higher at when they get really uh, active. Um, uh, tell us a little bit about the activity that we're seeing on the uh, crater floor. Sure. So it's uh, still fairly vigorous, as you can see. Uh, it's less vigorous than it was yesterday, though, when the eruption started. So when this eruption started yesterday morning, it was like a couple hundred feet tall fountains, 200 yeah. or 300 feet, as the pressure was there and the magma was coming out. We, I don't have, we don't have the uh, field measurements directly from this morning, but they look similar to what we saw last night, which is probably less than 30 feet tall at this time, although it can go, uh, can go taller with, yeah, with every the extra spurt. Yeah, you see one really, really go high. And then uh, my, my last question, yeah. uh, I want to just ask uh, for the folks at home, I think yesterday around 3 p.m. when you gave the numbers, the uh, amount of lava that had, uh, the volume really, that had filled the crater floor uh, was around 33 feet or, or three, yeah, tell me a little bit about if you have any idea of uh, updated numbers this morning because it's still been pumping throughout the night. <laughs> That's exactly. And so we have field crews out this morning that'll help us get a better number. Uh, but you're right, yesterday had, it had already added more than 33 feet of depth just by yesterday morning. So when this started, it was a tremendous amount of lava coming out of the ground. And, uh, you know, you think about uh, the, the, how quickly that filled the yes. morning. Uh, really awesome to yes. see. David Phillips, I'll keep you around. We'll, we'll record an interview that'll go on, uh, on air and uh, on This Is Now later. So we had a lot. Uh, we had to pick David's brain while we got it. And we uh, want to remind you, we have some of the uh, best images, and USGS is the ones that are getting some of those. They're actually going to move their camera, too, to a different location. It's been affected by the heat. Uh, that's how much heat's coming off. So uh, go to the USGS website. Of course, a lot of those images are online at hawaiinewsnow.com. We'll send things back over to Oahu, guys. All right. Thank you, Casey.